verses. You will never, never change. your hands everywhere who is like unto thee the presence of God is so strong in this Everybody lift your voice. Ask him for an encounter tonight. Whether you are online or you are on ground. The God we serve is a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly. Far above what we can ask of him. Ask him tonight for an encounter. Do something new. Change my story. Elevate me, increase me, embrace me. Something mighty, something glorious. Holy Ghost, do it again. Just keep praying. Do it again. your power, your presence. We've come to touch your grace tonight. Oh, may our lives never be the same. May our lives never be the same. May our lives truly never be the same. To see Jesus Aya, Aya, Baba See that above he is seated above. Oh, seated above. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Try it again. In Jesus name we pray. 
That's the kind of response I need from you this night. The power of God is here. I know it. I know when God comes in the place. And I know that somebody's life is about to be changed. First Corinthians 15, 57. We're going to pray. Tonight is more of a prayer service. That's why we called it a night of victory. One of the strongest force in the world is prayer. With prayer, you can change anything. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, please. I want us to read it on the screen together at the count of three. One, two, three. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory. May this night be your night of victory. May every unsettled situation in your life be settled once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray? The reason why it is a joy to pray about everything in your life is because we serve a God that answers prayer. There are some other gods that can answer some prayers. But the God that we serve, the Bible says in Psalm 65 verse 2, O thou that hears prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. In other words, even the unbeliever knows that God hears prayer. That's why they seek him in time of trouble. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. In everything by prayer. In everything by prayer. You pray about everything. Are we here? You pray about how many things? Everything. Your, your prayer stops when you leave the earth. Even when Jesus was about to die, the last thing that came out of his mouth was a prayer. He said, Lord, receive my spirit. Even to transcend into the greater side of your eternal life and victory, which is heaven. It takes prayer to translate. And tonight, everything that has been a hindrance in your life is falling down. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The first prayer point we are going to pray before we sit down because we'll pray severally. Then we'll sit down. Then once in a while while I'm preaching, I'll t tell you to stand up to pray. Please behave like a soldier this night. Is that true? When I say stand up, you jump up. You don't stand up like an old person. I don't know if I, I, I prayed more than I slept or I slept more than I prayed this week. But I know I prayed. And I saw visions of this service long before the service. And what I saw was that some of you, before miracle service, your miracle would have been in your hands. Amen. Amen. Now, if you truly believe that when I say pray, you pray with everything inside of you. Are you hearing me? There's no way you make a desperate prayer that it doesn't show around you. There are times to do quiet prayers. There are times to be radical. There are times for you to be militant. The Bible says this kingdom of God suffered violence. Jesus said it. Not a prophet. Jesus said it. That this is how the kingdom of God operates. It operates with force. So everything that you must take that belongs to you, you will take it how? By force. You receive it by faith. You take it by force. Did you hear what I said? You receive it how? By faith. You take it how? You receive it how? You take it how? Put that. That's the new hashtag to this today. Luke chapter 3 verse 22. Verse 21 rather. The Bible says, After Jesus had been baptized, the heavens, while he prayed, the heavens opened. While he prayed, not just because he was baptized, while he prayed, the heavens opened. This night, the heavens will open over somebody's destiny. Yeah. The opening of the heavens is symbolic for a divine visitation. Every time the heavens open over the life of a man, there is a, a visitation from above that leaves a mark on the life of that man that the power of God has truly encountered him. I want you to repeat after me. This is the first prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Shout it again. You can do better. As I pray, I declare, let the heavens be opened over me. Be opened over my life. Be opened over my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Heavens be open. Let the heavens be open over my life. I declare, let this be my night of open heavens, my night of divine visitation, my night of open heavens. As I pray, as I cry, as I lift my voice, let the heavens be open. to pray this night I don't do charm it's prayer I pray Psalms 102 verse 3 you see when you pray it's good to pray within the boundaries of the word of God prayer is simply discovering what the word of God says concerning you and enforcing it insisting on it when God hears his word coming out of you by prayer he is compelled to do it I showed you a scripture last week, Isaiah 64 verse 4. It says, since the beginning of, 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 of the world, it says, men have not heard, perceived with the ear, or I seen a God that acts for those who wait for him. God will arise for somebody today. In the name of Jesus. Sorry, verse 2. Verse 2. There's just one place there. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. My interest is this last part of the verse. In the day that I call, answer me speedily. How should he answer you? How many of you believe that before this night is over, certain testimonies will break out? <laughs> Listen, Jesus said, if it was not so, I would have told you. If I have not experienced it, I will not tell you. In the day that I call, answer me how. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. As I pray. As I pray. Answer me speedily. Answer me speedily. 
in the name of Jesus. Now open your mouth and pray. Whatever the body needs, whatever crisis situation, whatever request, whatever pain, whatever cry, as I pray, answer me speedily, answer me speedily, in the day that I come. down briefly. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 3, listen, we are going to deal with some forces this night. How many of you pray warfare prayer? I've said it before, that wherever you are in life is a summation of the victories that you have attained from the battles you have fought. You are an expression of your battles. So if, if your life is not showing any sign of victories that that means you've you've fought so many battles but you've not laid hold on your victory in christ and if where you are is somewhere admired by people that means you have had more victories in the battles and i hope you know that the christian life is a life of warfare paul said i have fought a good fight i have finished the race and i've kept the faith one third of the christian life is warfare it is by warfare that you lay hold of everything that God has designed for you. Not just laying hold on it, but laying hold of it on at the right time. Because timing is important on it. Zechariah chapter 3, the Bible says that Joshua the high priest was standing before God, before the angel of the Lord. And the Bible says that Satan was there resisting him. Joshua was the high priest. The one who was to stand and intercede on behalf of an entire nation of Israel. The covenant nation. God's covenant people. A high priest anointed and consecrated by God. Yet, there was a force that resisted him. Some of you have been praying. And the Lord told me this week that there are forces that have resisted your prayers. It's time to deal with it. Do you believe what I'm telling you? That's the reason why sometimes you add fasting to prayer. When you keep praying and certain things are not opening jesus said this kind go it not out except by prayer if there were no resisting force then you there will be no need for that are you ready to pray 
but every force that has resisted you whether it is the force of witchcraft whether it is the force of your ancestry whether it is the force of the territory that you are in whether it is the forces of the principalities and powers hanging above it must give way from your life your amen is sick i said it must give way from your life say after me every power every power resisting my prayers resisting my prayers resisting my advancement resisting my advancement the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you because that's what the angel said the angel said that satan the lord rebuke you when there are forces that seem to be stronger than you you need to learn how to invoke the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower the angel didn't say satan go away he said the lord it was a contest of of powers you know the bible says spiritual wickedness that is where in high places and of all the chief of all was satan so the angel knew better he said the lord rebuke you is this not a brand plucked out of fire in other words the angel was telling satan that all of the crisis this guy has gone through has purged him of certain things and has qualified him to enter his new season so why are you still resisting him that's the meaning of that because the fire there speaks of affliction do you understand so some of you you've gone through a season of crisis god has tested you and tried you and it's time for you to be elevated but satan is insisting that you will remain where you are but i come representing the most high that every devil that stands to to, to resist you must give way this night Amen. i said they must give way this night say after me every power every power resisting my prayers resisting my prayers resisting my advancement resisting my advancement the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus open your mouth and turn it to prayer Every power, every force, every satanic encroachment, every demonic resistance, around my life, resisting my prayers, the Lord rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you, are you praying, are you praying, are you praying, we thank you tonight grant us grace let there be a release of the angelic in this place let the council of heaven respond to the prayers of your children and let your name be glorified in Jesus mighty name we pray please take your seat briefly Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise the sound We raise the sound For you are God and God 
Timothy chapter 1. I want to speak briefly tonight on warring with prophecy. Warring with prophecies. And I will show you tonight six things that can hinder the prophecy over the life of a man. And we are going to attack all these six. Hey God. Before this night is over, somebody will get a phone call. A phone call that will give birth to a miracle. You know, God said I should correct myself. Phone calls that will give birth to miracles. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. Please, is there anybody with a son named like Yusuf? If there is anybody like that, just let me know. Yusuf. Yusuf Yusuf Son name Yusuf Come I will look for the person I'm looking for Actually I'm looking for a lady And Yusuf Are you people connected? All of you? So God came for your family Is there anybody here that is not in the family? Yusuf, okay, Yusuf. 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 Okay. I want to pray. I'll, let me pray for this family first. Just separate yourself because something is about to shift for you. Help me with this, please. Something is about to just separate. I'll pray for all of you, but something is about to shift. Now, you see, this is what happens when there is enormous prayer. The spirit of prophecy is provoked. All right. This is just a question. 
uh, I don't know whether this Yusuf or that Yusuf or any of this Yusuf there, but you have something to do with Janet. You have something to do with somebody with the name Janet. You have some, but something to do with the name, a lady, Janet, who is like uh, Janet, 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 Janet. Somebody, I'm seeing somebody who is kind of dark in complexion. Who? My, my niece. Your niece yes, sir. is Janet. Yes, sir. Dark. Yes, sir. Come, stand here. Now, this family, I want you to lift your hands. Mommy, is this is this your mother? Oh, this is the mother? Okay. You are one of them? First born, yes. Oh, you are the first born? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, sir. You're married? Yes, sir. You know what God told me? Beginning from this year. Yes. One year, one marriage. Amen. One year, one marriage. Amen. One year, one marriage. Amen. Father, I stretch my hands towards them. Every power that has held the destinies of people in this family, I crush it now. I crush it now. And I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the word of the Lord be fulfilled over your life in the helper, in the name of Jesus. That's what the Lord said. One year, one marriage. One year, one marriage. Madam, come. God is about to favor you. Which which mic is? Help us. Thank you. Jesus. Are you walking? Yes. I see a promotion coming for you. Amen. Okay. Amen. It's your mic. Thank you, Jesus. I see a promotion. Please, who walked? Um, I'm seeing something that has to do with agriculture. Who is walking? A place something that has to do with agri agro something like that you are working in a place that has to do with agriculture your an organization that has is the whatever they do there is agro related who is the person huh 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 let me hear you yes i also used to supply Agro things. You used to stop agro. Yes. You used to supply. Yes. yes. <laughs> Can you clap for Jesus? Is it guess? Is this? Can you call this guessing? God is about to favor you, man. Amen. Thou shall arise. What's your name? Jamila. Jamila. Yes, sir. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Jamila. Because the time of favor has come. Okay, take the mic away. Just come. Just stand there. I'm going to pray for you. I see an opening coming for you. Two, actually. I see a rise coming in your job. I see a rise coming like you are going up. Then I see another opening for you. Because this is like a mail you are receiving. And I see a new job opening for you. And God says he's shifting you to the realm of millions. Are you hearing me? Do you still do business? You will meet an allergy. Hear me. What? What is it? You were told what? You were told by who? That you will meet an allergy? Yes. By who? Who told you? God told you. <laughs> you will meet an allergy. And something will come out from that meeting that will shift you to your realm of millions. I pray for her and I pray for anybody that is ready to receive. The grace for financial explosion. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are still waking up. You are not yet in church. You are still in your house. I pray you don't wake up when we are done with the service. Amen. This lady with glasses, the one wearing black, eh? Whatever you do, remind me that I need to talk to you. I saw a light shining on you. Eh? Whatever you do, if I'm about to come down for you and I've not called you, look, come and grab my clothes. I have to, yay! Who is. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. 
Look at me, my dear. Who is related to you with a name that starts with the letter H? Hope. Hope. Who is Hope? It's my cousin. It's your cousin. Good. I want to talk to you. It's not about Hope. That was just a confirmation. I just saw H around you. You know that things God revealed in prophecy, it's not the prophecy. It's just to confirm that what you are saying is true. I was praying on Friday and after I finished praying around about close to 3 p.m. When I stood up, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and asked me, what is today's date? I said, 24th. He told me, he said, today is one year exactly since I started speaking to you about the election. I told you, it was 24th February last year that God started talking. And to show you that it was not a mistake, the day after is the elections. That means, I don't care what you say, everything that I say, anything I say, I believe it. You know the thing with the prophet is the prophet just says it as he sees it or as he hears it but it just always happens to be right so it's left for you to believe now i may not prophesy to everybody but every time i'm giving a prophetic word to somebody i want you to catch it with everything that is in you if you need to shout an amen you can shout and catch because i've seen people steal prophecies from others are you hearing me jesus said what i say to one i say to all Father, bless this family. All of you come one by one. Let me just lay hands on you. Father, bless them. In the name of Jesus. You are about to enter into serious money. Serious money. Serious money. And God said it will make up for the losses that has been incurred in the past. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Wait, how many children do you have? Three. Three? Yes, sir. I've seen something happening around your stomach. Yes, sir. Wait. Are you pregnant? No. We are going to pray against fibroid. Amen. All right? Amen. It's black, like an x ray. Have you seen an x ray? Yeah, that just saw something like that. That's saw something. Black. Eh? I'm a radiograph. <laughs> okay. So, but let's talk, let's talk to you now. Yes, daddy. Aside from confirming that you're a radiographer. Yes, daddy. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they will not say that there is anything growing in your womb. Amen. Amen. And whatever God has not planted is uprooted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Father, thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for a release. In the name of Jesus. Are you in school? Yes, sir. Okay. Meet me after the service. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for Mama. Thank you, Jesus. God will strengthen your health. Amen. You will see your children's children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ. Can we celebrate Jesus? All of this. I'm trying to I'm trying to be very fast because of time. Yes. Who are the Yusufs? What did I say about you? Janet is your niece. Come, I want to pray for you. Well, this family, I know your family. But believe me when I tell you, your time has come. Did you hear what I said? Your time has come. And in the name of Jesus from today, may every door that opens for your progress and for your rising remain open. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Janet. We rebuke affliction. Both for the child and the mother. We rebuke affliction. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And give the husband a better job. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me. Go and tell them everything I just said. They will confirm that it's true. Amen. God bless you. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. Try to be as fast as we can tonight. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. This charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you. Notice that the Bible said prophecies. Our God is a speaking God. Everything he does is through the instrumentality of his word. His word is creative. His word is calls those things that be not as though they were 
His word is powerful. That's why everything created is a word. What are you sitting on? Are you here at all? I, follow me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very fast this night. What are you sitting on? What is that? A word. Who are you? Human being. What is that? Everything is a word. And the Bible says in the beginning was the word that gave birth to every word. And the word was God. So prophecy is only God revealing his plan, his purpose, his agenda, his will concerning an individual, a family or a nation. Which is to be fulfilled at a specific time on earth. There's no use for prophecy in heaven. There's no use for prophecy in heaven. You can call it revelation when it is in heaven. But when it escapes from heaven to earth, it is prophecy. And Paul was talking to Timothy. He said, this is chapter 1. This is how you open the letter you are writing to your son. He says, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the what? The what? That, that by them you may wage a good warfare. Warring with prophecies. Warring with prophecies. There are five ways a prophecy can come to a person. Number one, prophecy can come through the word of God. Prophecy can come through the word of God. You can read a scripture and the spirit of God will illuminate your heart with that scripture. Or you can find something in the word of God and there is a witness in your spirit towards that chapter or that verse. Or you can simply discover the promises of God in his word. The Bible calls it in 2 Peter 1 verse 19. The Bible calls it a more sure word of prophecy. The word of God. So prophecy can come from the word of God. Prophecy can also come from your character. I've said it here before. That your thoughts will give birth to your words. Your words will give birth to your actions. Your actions will give birth to your habits. Your habits will give birth to your character. And your character predicts your destiny. Is that true? Those of you that follow me very well. So, assuming a kind of lifestyle is already speaking into your future that's why the bible says as a man thinketh in his heart so is he your character can be prophecy so if you want it to be a prophecy that is favorable to you and in line with the word of god you have to leave it that is the reason why god called abraham 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 he said for I have made you a father of many nations. So I want you to live with this mentality as a father of many nations. Before you even see it fulfilled. Live with that mentality. Because your character can predict your destiny. The Bible says, He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be what? Destroyed. Have you seen people who complain a lot? That's already a character. You hardly see anything good around them. You hardly see good news around their life. And they will tell you that their excuse is that they are trying to be logical. Let's be realistic. Continue in your, in your realistic world, as it were. Why did the Bible say, let the weak say, I am strong? Why? Because your character can be prophesied. So you have to act it to see it. Are you hearing me? You have to act it. When God tells you, I will make you a kingdom millionaire. I will make you a kingdom financier. You live with the mindset. You act like it. If you are going to be a kingdom financier, you don't beg from people. The scripture says you shall lend to many nations and you shall not borrow. So you have to live in such a way that you don't live and reduce yourself from your prophecy. You have to live with a character that suits that which God has told you. Are you hearing me? Number three. Number three way by which prophecy can come. Your family. Where you come from is prophecy. <laughs> Any limitation 
or any blessing as it were that is entrenched in your family can be a prophecy over your life that is the reason why you see our god is transgenerational in his dealings that is the pattern you find about god all through scripture that's why the bible calls him a covenant keeping god the god of abraham isaac and god is interested in family so anything that has existed in the family if it is a limitation or it is a blessing can be prophecy for you if it is a limitation then you have to change it by introducing another prophecy there's never a time in scripture that god introduced a man to his generation and god did not talk about his family this is how you always see it so 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 person the son of this the son of this the son of this why why is he interested in your ancestry why does he talk about your history because you can't talk about your future you can't talk about destiny if you don't understand predestination where you are coming from the bible said now jephthah was a mighty man of valor but he was the son of a harlot now Naaman was a mighty man of valor, the commander of the army of Syria, but he was a leper. You remember the cross that Elisha gave to Gehazi? He said, The leprosy of Naaman will not depart from you and your. It's in the family. In scripture, in Genesis chapter 49, the Bible tells us that Jacob was blessing his sons. And was prophesying over them, shaping their tribes that they will bring, bring, you know, bring forth, or that they will give birth to. He was addressing Reuben, but he was not just addressing Reuben; he was addressing a tribe. When he got to one of his sons called Gad, he said, "God, a troop shall overtake him, but he shall overcome at last." Now, the word "troop" there in Hebrew is the same as the word "legion" in Greek. So many years later, thousands of years later, the Bible says Jesus was crossing over, you know, the sea. And he got to a place called Gatherings. Is that true? And the Bible said, who did he meet there? He met a man that was possessed with legions. A troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at last. And then several generations later, it seems as though the powers of darkness decided to use that tribe as their, 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 their weapon for manifestation. Your family can be prophecy. So before you say you want to get a job, you just graduated from school, you want to just go and apply and get a job, or you just want to get married, before you make any transitional moment in your life, if you have not done it before, do it now. Go and check the history of your family. Because the Bible says, I've set you these days over kingdom and nations. We're speaking to a prophet. This is the ministry of the prophetic. To pull down and to uproot. To tear down and to destroy. Then to plant and to build. So spiritually, you don't just start planting. No. You don't just start building. You must excavate the wrong and faulty foundations. That's why you are in Christ. Don't say if a man be in Christ is a new creature. Yes, that's your spirit. But your flesh came from that family. And Satan has a legal hold over you. And let me tell you one thing with legal... Huh. Satan, when you begin to interface with higher spirits, not demons, not demons, spirits, spirits in the kingdom of darkness, they can be so legalistic. That's why you, are, you keep praying and binding that spirit. But after you bind and sleep, it will come and sleep with you and go. Is it that he didn't hear Jesus from your mouth? Not demons, oh, spirits. Demons are those ones are ground troops. And if you must rise in this life for the kingdom, a time will come where demons will not bother you. The people that will be disturbing you will be principalities and powers. That's why some of you have encountered before, some of you, not all of you, but you may have encountered it before, that there were seasons where you began to pray and pray intensely. And all of a sudden, instead of you to be enjoying things from heaven, you started interfacing with warfare, battles, all kinds of spirits that are appearing to you. That's because you have risen to a point in the spirit. Your prayer has raised a signal 
and this signal is above the realm of the earth where demons operate so principalities and powers are the ones that will look for who is that person that wants to rise in this territory in 2018 i was praying like that and the lord spoke to me and said walk around this city don't try it something wrong will happen to you except god tells you god said use your two leg and walk around so every day i'll fast and pray for hours and then in the evening i'll start walking and cover one distance i remember when i walked from here to baga road and cover the, that distance when you get when i get there i'll enter napeb and come back home the next day go again after the fifth day in the night i was praying and a spirit appeared to me appeared to me wearing black i saw the spirit and jesus left my mouth You know just the way you have the presence of god and if an angel comes you will sense the presence that there, there are evil spirits like that you will sense the evil the darkness they came with he came and appeared to me i was looking at me like this physically so by the grace of god when you see something like this sustained for five years you must know that there are battles that have been fought your family your family but today everything evil in your bloodline that has been speaking against your life and your destiny some of you it is actually what has manipulated certain habits around you have you seen families where almost everybody is a drunkard and the last person who is a christian his friends are drunkards have you seen that sometimes these patterns can operate as habits I've seen families where nobody in that family knows how to manage finance. There's a spirit of a devourer in that family. But today, in the name of Jesus, every evil thing speaking against you from your family will fall down. I say it will fall down and be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus, we annul every curse. We annul every evil prophecy. We are not every evil pattern from your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophecy can come from your family. Number four, your enemies too can prophesy over you. You see why the Bible calls there you, the Bible says there are false prophets. Is that not true? So when we say the prophetic prophecy, we are not just talking about the divine alone. Satan has soothsayers. He has enchanters. Remember Balaam. Bela called Balaam. He said, come and curse these people for me. He said, I know you. Anything you say will stand. Because Balaam was an unusual kind of prophet. He can tap into divine frequency and pick from God. And he knew the things to do in witchcraft to tap into another spirit. So, you know, he was a business prophet. He looked for gain. So, if God was not speaking to him and people came to him, he will use witchcraft. He was a diviner and at the same time a man of God. That is why holiness and purity is a very strong force if you must do ministry. Once you begin to corrupt your stream, all of a sudden you have legally introduced some spirit into your realm. They will begin to speak to you and you think it's the Holy Ghost. I remember a friend of ours many years ago we used to pray together she used to have strange kind of visions powerful visions this girl was so mighty in the prophetic she can see that time before you come for prayer you have to confess your sins and wash yourself with the blood seven times like name and wash himself with the blood of jesus are you hearing me and, and because when you come she will pick it if you went to your girlfriend's house the, la the, the day before she would tell you and tell you the color of that cloth you know what a time came something happened i don't know what happened but she started having encounters with evil spirits and started prophesying all kinds of nonsense that attachment is a sin with one is a sin that's why as a minister holiness and purity you don't compromise it your enemies so balaam called ba bala called balaam say come and curse them for me god knows 
that the words of the enemy can also be powerful because they understand power that's the reason why the bible says in numbers chapter 23 verse 23 there is no enchantment against jacob neither any divination against israel god will not say that if the prophecy of the enemy cannot come to pass if you hang around the wrong people people who hate you and they keep saying all kinds of evil against you sooner or later if you don't operate with a superior mindset and cast down those strongholds those imaginations sooner or later you will find yourself walking there i know young ladies who grew up with people who were their stepmother and the woman said you'll never amount to anything good in life you will never know good man will marry you and many years later she couldn't even get married now finally she got married and the husband is a drunkard she never knew before she got married why there was a, an evil prophet speaking over her life over time that's why the bible says open your mouth and i will feel it he said as i hear you say so will i do he said you shall decree a thing god and god encourages us to keep speaking because when you keep speaking you are bringing the word of god that has been spoken over you to manifest you know the parables jesus gave he said that the seed was the word isn't it and while men slept the enemy so tars so if you are not speaking the word of god over your destiny another enemy is speaking something else do you know whether as we are here whether there are a group of witches somewhere now with my picture calling my name and saying all kinds of incantation i must die ah! but the bible tells me in jeremiah chapter 20 he said nevertheless my enemies shall be destroyed look for that scripture it talks about enemy jeremiah 20 just look for it for me the bible says as a fleeting sparrow and a flying swallow proverbs 26 verse 2 it says so a costless cause shall not stand isaiah 8 verse 10 speak the word and it shall not stand take counsel and it shall come to naught for our god is with us they can keep doing vigil to tomorrow I will keep rising higher because my bible tells me the path of a just is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter and can i declare over your life i'm angry in my spirit this night any witch that has been speaking against you or over you with or without your knowledge as you are as long as you are under the sound of my voice let the fire of god destroy them now I said, let the fire of God destroy them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down briefly. <laughs> you know, I heard from a man of God that the Bible says, Jesus said, when, 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 when your enemies slap you on one cheek, when they slap you on one cheek, he said, turn the other side. He said, Jesus didn't say, turn the other cheek. He said, turn the other side. Not the other cheek. He said, the other side. Two sides of God. First John 4, verse 7 and 8. Listen, 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 listen. The Bible says, be, uh, uh, you know, be, be loved. let us love one another for God is love. And anyone that is born of God knows God. For God is love. That's one side of God. But Hebrews 12, 29 says, our God is a consuming what? Sometimes you need to turn that part. Psalms 97 verse 3. He say, a fire goeth from before him and burns his enemies on every side. Psalm 68 verse 1 and 2. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them flee from before him. As smoke is driven by the wind, so drive them away. And as wax melt before the fire, so let those that hate God perish at his presence. If you do the kind of work I do, you have to be in love with scripture, so because that's your weapon. That's how you fight. And then finally, prophecy can come through your prophet or your man of God. Because God will always send a man in a season to your life as a proof of divine visitation. The blessing will come from God, but it must come through a human vessel. The Spirit of God would have descended of Jesus on Jesus any time, but he had to go to be baptized by John the Baptist. 
and tonight I believe I came as a prophet to somebody not to everybody but just to somebody six things that can hinder your prophecy from being fulfilled very quickly and we'll pray number one diabolic activities diabolic activities satanic activities brothers and sisters of course you know already that there's a devil existing and the bible informed us very well properly to know that this devil is our adversary first peter chapter 5 verse 8 he said be sober be vigilant for your adversary the devil he didn't say the adversary of god no he said your adversary your enemy the devil satan himself once you are a man He's the one that resists you. He's the one that tries to do everything to hinder you from progressing. He's always, the Bible says, the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan will not stop until he totally destroys and annihilates a man. But in the name of Jesus, I speak preservation over your life. I said I speak preservation over your life. Jesus said, but I am come that they may have life and have it more abundantly diabolic activities satanic wickedness first john 5 19 he said the whole world lieth in wickedness ah, let me tell you the truth if i if if this if this was wrong if i said this was wrong i'll be lying to you wickedness is real wickedness is real some of you you have been under the covering for long so you don't know you don't know what is happening around oh that god will open your eyes to see how satan is dissecting and destroying families you know he doesn't have any business again he knows he will be destroyed anyway he knows he will be judged anyway so the bible says that the devil has come down to you with wrath Revelations 12. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. He said, for the devil has come down to you with wrath because he knows that he has a short time. So within that short time, let's destroy everybody. But in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a, like, like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise a standard against him. This night, the Spirit of God raises a standard in your life over the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Listen, don't play with every of these declarations I'm doing. They are prophecies. Don't play with them. I'm not just declaring as I'm, de I'm seeing before declaring. There will be no time to prophesy to everybody. So if I see something, I'll just take a prophetic declaration and release it. And as you catch it, the angels of God go to work. Satanic activities psalm 7 verse 9 he say oh let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end but establish thou the just verse 11 he said the lord is angry with the wicked every day powers occultic powers witchcraft <laughs> some of you don't believe because they gave birth to you in the city you went to montessori private school so 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 secondary school university now you are here all your life has just been ice cream and honey wait, wait till, you know when god told the children of israel he said i'm taking you to a land flowing with milk and honey did they see honey there did they see milk there what did they see when they got there giants amen some of you leave you didn't go you never had touch with the village so you don't know what wickedness is like and that's the reason why this delay in your life that you think is ordinary you are blaming it on the situations around you you don't know that there is a a, a, a man of god told me this that he was in his family house and another man, man of god came to visit this man of god is a prophet another man of god came to visit the family and when he was to leave they called everybody in the family i said come oh man of god is going to let him pray for everybody and when this prophet came out because a prophet is not is not without honor except in his home when he came out his eyes opened when he looked at the man he saw kogi state and he saw a chain on the man's leg down to kogi state he asked the man please sir do you know anything that has to do with kogi state the man said i'm from kogi state say thank you sir 
That's the man I want to pray for them. That's why, you see, that zeal, that, that fire, that zeal of ministry that is charging you, you want to jump. Wait first. Deal with foundations. Deal with satanic entrenchment. If not, Satan will make a mockery out of your life. When you hear fathers of faith say that the Bishop Oyedepo, before when God gave him the mandate, they fasted and prayed for two years. Same thing with Dr. Paul and Angel. You see, they give so much time to preparation as if they will not do the ministry. Because if you don't settle what is on the ground level, you can't go high. The depth of a foundation determines the height of the building on it. The Jesus said, any man that wants to build a tower should sit down and count the cost. Whether he has enough to sponsor it to the finish. Lest he gets to a point and he's out of resources. And it becomes a mockery on him. Before you start out in destiny, you must understand the tools that are needed to generate enough spiritual energy that will drive you to where you are going to. Satanic activities. I met a lady. I don't know whether she's following online now. So I won't mention her name. I, you know, she stumbled on our videos, some of our videos online and began to listen. I don't know how she got my number and called. This lady gave her life to Christ and about a year after she gave her life to Christ when she was very young she traveled to the United States God opened the door and she traveled there she stayed there for 21 years is that not long enough time to be a citizen but she came back to Nigeria not just back to Nigeria back to the village with nothing 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 not even a husband nothing i met her how do you pray that for that kind of person nobody should deceive you wickedness is real wickedness is real somebody somewhere is looking for blood and he's, he hopes that is your blood somebody somewhere is trying to to to, to bring satanic entrenchment around a family and they hope that they will catch you in the radar but this night god will arrest the activities of the enemy in your life time will fail me to share testimonies diabolic activities can hinder prophecy from being fulfilled one of the reasons why the children of israel were in egypt God spoke to Moses in Genesis chapter 15. Uh, sorry, to Abraham in Genesis 15 and said, Know that your descendants will sojourn in a land for 400 years. Because the inhabitants of Canaan, he said, I will wait for their sin to be full. Then I will vomit them out of the land and bring your descendants after 400 years. 400 years later, they were still in captivity. Why? Because the Bible said there was a king over Egypt. His name was Pharaoh. And in Ezekiel chapter 31, the Bible spoke about the spirit that controlled the throne of Pharaoh. He said the serpent in the river. Witchcraft. Manipulations. Occultic. Diabolic. All kinds. Necromancy. Sorcery. Divination. I'm not saying this for you to be scared, but it's for your awareness. And the higher you rise in destiny, the more you begin to interface with these kinds of things. But this night, God will give us victory. Number two, things that can hinder prophecy from being fulfilled. Ignorance. Ignorance. Psalms 82 verse 5 they know not neither do they understand and they walk in darkness and the foundations of the earth is out of course psalms 11 verse 3 if the foundations be destroyed what shall the righteous do they know not the reason why there's chaos is because they know not neither do they understand do you know what is written about you 
do you know what god has written about your family there's a cause in the family okay but before a cause there was a blessing because that family was not sculptured and created by satan it was god that created that family in in eternity and the bible says he blessed everything he created you need to press into heaven and find out what did god say over my family because the bible says he who god has blessed no one can curse blessings override curses ignorance ignorance about your prophetic destiny ignorance about your prophetic word ignorance about who god has made you to be even ignorance about how to engage to bring about the manifestation just because god said i will make you a millionaire doesn't mean that was the end of the message go back and ask him how mary said how shall these things be ask him how ignorance ignorance in fact the greatest darkness in the realm of men is the darkness of ignorance when you when a man is beclouded by the darkness of ignorance eh, he will help the devil destroy himself he has he has created a wireless system you know this mic i'm using eh? they call it a wireless mic isn't it the the receiver is somewhere several meters away so no matter how i walk around this hall i can still keep using it so when a man allows ignorance to 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 invade his life ignorance about the word of god ignorance about prayer ignorance about the things of the spirit ignorance about his prophetic destiny ignorance about divine engagements to bring to pass the things that god has said he has created a wireless system for the devil the devil will not need to visit him again he can stay in atlantic ocean and just remote him because he will perish in his ignorance it's a bad thing to be ignorant to my people perish not because of lack of prayer there are people that can pray and pray and pray and there's no answer you know why because their prayer is lacking of the wisdom and the knowledge of god to engage to bring about the fulfillment of destiny the strength of your prayer is according to the amount of revelation that it is armed with there's something called spiritual intelligence you need to understand how to interface with god in prayer it's not just to go and cry that's why it's not every prayer that god answers he hears prayer oh thou that hears prayer but it's not every prayer he answers the effectual and fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much you need to understand the word of god you need to understand what god says about you you need to know the provisions that make for your victory the provisions that you use in the time of spiritual warfare how do i deal with witchcraft how do i deal with necromancy if somebody is targeting me with an arrow or if i'm fighting in a season of my life invisible battles how do i fight lay your right hand on your head say in the name of jesus i rebuke the power of ignorance over my life in the name of Jesus bring down your hand to take a territory there is a wisdom to break into financial explosion I'm not talking about this little miracle that somebody will just give you somebody just no I'm not talking about hand to mouth miracle no sufficient for the day is the trouble thereof give us this day our daily bread no i'm not talking about that one i'm talking about the one that changes your status god will need to reveal to you it can't come to you when you are ignorant it is in the place of prayer that you wait to receive revelation he said he give it the power to get wealth that power is a wisdom from god that overrides the natural limitations of men so that the same thing people are doing you will do but you will see a different level of prosperity the bible says in genesis 26 verse 12 that isaac sowed in that land and he reaped a hundredfold in a dry land in the midst of famine no rain had fallen but isaac sowed in that land and he reaped a hundredfold and the lord blessed him wait if you farm in dry season that's 
foolishness first of all so you are not even supposed to get any harvest but the bible says he didn't just get a harvest he got a hundredfold harvest and the lord blessed him 13 and the man began to prosper and prospered and became very great very prosperous why because god gave him an intelligence god told him how to dig the ground and look for water from the ground all the rain that has been falling where did they go to and Isaac began to dig the dig the ground and irrigation farming began there God will tell you something to do you need to ask God what must I do what must I do that man asked Paul and Barnabas what must I do to be saved because ignorance is the excuse of a lazy man all right ignorant people are actually most times lazy they are not ready to take responsibility but when you are ready to take responsibility for your destiny you begin to inquire from the lord what do i do how do i come out of this mess i'm in debt what is the mystery what is the strategy in the kingdom that can bring me out of this debt will i just keep paying this debt all through this year my salary i can't enjoy it and i can't tie it because of this debt and when you don't tie it it's anti-covenant practice god does not bless the remaining and that's the reason why the whole year round your financial cycle is the same god how do i come out of this you know something bishop let me tell you something april 20th when my mom died 2020 the spirit of god do you hear god when your when your mother died you enter into depression when they called me and told me my mother was that was dead i sat on my chair ready for counseling that day it was on a monday i said blessed be the name of the lord and then the spirit of god spoke to me clearly he said give me everything that is in your account wait your mother just died give me everything that is your account god you the grace huh? everything that was and I did that. And God said, two things have happened. Today, I've pulled you out of depression, shame, and reproach. Number two, I've brought you into strange world. We went back to bury the woman. After we buried her that period, in the midst of burial and mourning, a door opened for me. And I got connected me with a lady from the United States. He said she wanted to call me. She called me. When I when they, when they put it on video call, when I saw her, I said, Who is so so person? She said, This person. Who is this person? This person. I'm hearing this name. This ah, she started shouting. From that one person, an international door opened. And from that time, every month, dollars comes to me. Every month. Every month. That was COVID. There's something God will tell you to do. The Bible says, they that sow in tears. Even if all the witches in Bruno State gang up together, me, it's too late to be broke. It's too late. There's something stronger than all of them put together that supports it. And I know it. And on the strength of that knowledge, I'm prophesying over you that by the hand of God may there be a mysterious overturning in your life that will shift you to financial increase in the name of Jesus Christ sit down after that time many other doors began to open many doors many doors began to open foreign blessings and then the time came when somebody flew in from the UK to Abuja, flew from Abuja to Meduguri, came to my house in the morning and gave me pounds sterling and flew back to Lagos. There's something you must know. There's something you must know. It's not just sowing seeds. There's something you must know. And this night, God will supply that knowledge. Quickly, number three, the spirit of delay can hinder prophecy. The spirit of delay can hinder prophecy. Delay is a mystery. Yet, delay is a reality. It's a spiritual reality. That 
people can be hindered when it is their time their set time for something it's called delay 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 i believe that there are spirits that sponsor this in the life of people god spoke in genesis to abraham they will stay for 400 years but the bible says they came out after 430 years delay somebody say delay delay fought jesus christ the lord jesus can i show you you don't believe me i will not come here and say nonsense before i come here everything i say here is proven delay fought our lord jesus christ that's the reason why when it was time for him to come on earth many of you don't know but theologically it has been proven that between malachi which is the last book of the old testament and matthew which is the first book of the new testament were 400 years 400 not 40 400 400 400 generations upon generations 400 and they call these years the blind ages reason is because they said that god never spoke to any human being 400 years god forbid the word of god is light i've told you so imagine when god does not speak for 400 years Because the coming of the Messiah was near. So that this spirit of delay can be dealt with, God had to arrest two people in the place of prayer and intercession for many years before the coming of Jesus. The Bible spoke of a man in Luke chapter 2. His name was Simeon. The Bible says he was a very old man, but full of the Holy Ghost. Wait, Jesus had not died. The Holy Ghost has not come on people. But the man prayed so much that he tapped into what was in the next dispensation. He was in the law, but he tapped into the, the, the dispensation of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says that God promised him. He prayed till God promised him that you will not see death. Whether witches fire arrow at you. Whether wizards call your name. Whether they call your name in the shrine in the village. You will not see death until you see the Lord Christ. Another woman, the Bible called her Anna, a prophetess. Wait, she was not from a tribe where prophets came from. There was no prophet that was recorded to have come out from the tribe of Aish, Asha, Asha, Asha. The woman got married in her youth, in her virginity. And during her marriage, seven years later, the husband died. And the Bible says when the husband died, she gave herself to prayer and intercession. Every day she will come to the temple and pray. I told you my calculation. She prayed about 52 years. Because she was 84 at that time. Now you see youths of 25, they can't pray. They can't stand one hour of prayer. They can't stand 30 minutes. Let's do marathon prayer. I think, I think we need to do another marathon this year. 12 hours. That's how we we'll open that place when we we'll move there. That's how you, any new house I enter, that's how I open the house. 12 hours of tongues. To tell the demons in the atmosphere and the if they buried any cow there, just remain there. <laughs> Amen. I didn't say do it, though. I just said this is how I do. <laughs> this is how I win, win, win. This is how I win. That's how me, I do my own. This is how I win, win, win. This is how I win. That's how I do it. Pay for a new house. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Enter. When everybody goes, close the door. Marokota Bakas Kambra Takila Bakai Katoa. I came as a representative of the Most High. Somebody said delay. Anna, the Bible said, had to pray. These two people, they had to pray and intercede for the coming of Jesus. Another proof to you, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 5 he began to speak about warfare from verse 4 and then in verse 5 he said that every battle of a warrior king james translation every battle of a warrior is with confused noise and with garments rolled in blood but this shall be for the burning of well and fire this is a this is a scenario of warfare of battle then the next verse verse 6 what did he say unto us a child is born unto us a son is given if there was no warfare
so to 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 give birth to destiny to bring to birth things that are written about you in the realm of the spirit there must be warfare every battle of the warriors with confused noise that's tongues that's praying in tongues every battle of the warriors with confused noise somebody say delay we are going to we are going to pray against delay today oh. ah! we, will pray, we, will, we will lambast it we will lambast it today even you you know you pray today are you ready to pray the fourth thing that can hinder prophecy is prayerlessness I don't think I need to talk about that lest someone begin to cry here now prayerlessness you see when I started my journey as a believer I didn't love I didn't like to pray I hated prayer and fasting I hated those two things let's 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 do any other thing but to pray and fast I hated it I hated it so bad that I used to run from it I remember one time we went for vigil myself and my spiritual father and a few friends and as soon as they woke us up I, we, had, we had slept oh, we had slept before that time by 1 a.m they woke us up as they woke us up i went to the altar to pray the next time i opened my eyes was around five when they woke me up again they said the prayer is over <laughs> and as soon as they said the prayer is over i was looking for the mat say these four hours i slept it was not too sweet because i slept on the altar with tiles where is that mat and one of my friends, his name is Jephthah. We finished praying and went to sleep. He kept praying till 8 a.m. When I woke up. <laughs> when I went back home, I had to sit down and advise myself. I said, is this how you will continue? Eh? Is this how you will continue? It was from that day that I decided this prayer thing will die here. So I raised my bed up and put it towards the wall. I say, it's either me or my destiny. And began to pray and began to pray and began. Those days when we were in school, every night prayer, every night prayer, every even in the cold, every night prayer. You are praying, cold is entering your ear. You are, every day, every night prayer, 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 prayer. I didn't know God would call me to do this. I was just doing that to support my destiny and to partner with what God will do. Some of those prayer meetings will come. You remember now? Big deliverances happened there. All kinds of things happened. We were praying one of those nights in, in 2017. February, remember those 17 days, two hours every night. We were praying there and I stood up from my chair, a stool, and a lady sat on that chair and God dissolved cancer from her body. She had been booked for surgery. Nobody knew. We didn't know. She waited for one week to be sure that she was healed. And then she came and told me in RCF tent, when we're entering for service, say, this is what happened. I said, what? This prayer, we go die here. It takes prayer to fulfill prophecy. It takes prayer. It takes prayer. It takes prayer. The Bible says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. It didn't say pastors. It didn't say apostle. It didn't say man of God. Men ought always to pray. I remember one morning in those days, I have not gotten admission then, we were in the house. Myself and my younger sister, my father went out in the morning. And we were there having breakfast and watching the TV. And then we had a knock on the door. As I opened the door, two women and one baby, the baby was jerking, gasping for life. And she threw the baby on me. Say, where is daddy? I said, daddy has gone out. Say, my baby is about to die. I said, gang, gang. I was helping myself with breakfast. I took that baby and went to the altar. Parokotos kapanda kapragega. Ebrakos kaparakata kalaka. The baby came back to normal. I'm telling you, he was jacking with soap, you know, foam coming out of the mouth. I've seen things so. Prayer. That thou mightest with them war a good warfare. And you know what? For every stage of destiny, there's a volume of prayer that is needed. There's a volume of prayer that is needed to activate it, to bring it to pass, to cause it to manifest. Just because you saw in your dream people dashing your money doesn't mean it is done. No. You need to pray.
pray it into manifestation because between heaven and earth there are blockages there are there are there are the roadblocks the devil knows how to divert somebody say you know they used to say delay is not denial it's not true if you delay the person and he dies in delay is that not denial say, say delay is, den is not denial who told you number five irresponsibility we're about to pray irresponsibility irresponsibility is another thing that can hinder prophecy a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the arms and what will happen it says so shall your customized poverty so shall your abby sir so shall your uh, god for say god forbid so shall your a young man who is 25 years has graduated and is still living in his father's house i left my father's house when i was 25 and it's not not that he's there at least he's productive there because there are some people that once they leave the house there is problem he's there and he's a body irresponsibility there's nothing that cripples the life of a man like that when you are not willing to take responsibility when you are not ready to engage necessary actions the leper say why sit we here till we die if we sit here we die if we go to the city there's famine we'll die he said the best is let us go to the camp of the enemies perhaps they will spare us life is all about taking risk if you don't take risk you will not see victory there are times you have to damn the consequences and take the risk and discover that there was no consequence attached to the risk there was only a blessing it's called faith it's not called risk you have to you have to step out you pray my destiny help us locate me amen and then you sit down in your house waiting for them to come from monday to saturday thank you we prophesy miracle job amen and your cv has not gone to any organization in the past six months you are waiting for an angel to come and photocopy the cv and take it because you paid the angel you paid the angel eh? irresponsibility you must do something about your life you must do something about where you are you must be angry with the spot where the enemy has tied you you know god spoke to me and told me to tell us today to beware of complaining and murmuring irresponsible people complain and murmur that's all they do you stay in the house and you're always complaining why they bomb me for this house self this house not so so poverty which day will go chop better food you've been you were complaining when you were nine years now you are 29 years you are joining them to complain you do something about it get up the bible says establish thou the works of our hands the works the works the works there's something god must bless oh you, you had me said god connected me with people over uh, uh, over uh, you know overseas and they're sending money you think it's just free like that do you know how many lives have been impacted around the world do you know how many destinies are changing where this message is get to do you know the, the shift that happens so that's enough reward you don't just think that you just stay there and sow your seed and you are just waiting for miracle to fall from the sky nothing like that nothing like that you must do something about it the grace of god is waiting on your willingness the grace of god is waiting on your willingness the bible says you you have the will the spirit gives the grace and then finally sin sin can hinder the fulfillment of prophecy ezekiel chapter 4 verse 4 to 6 one of the things that stopped the children of Israel or delayed them was sin. They didn't just stay in Egypt. They became used to the lifestyle of Egypt. And they began to walk in sin. When you read Ezekiel chapter 4 from verse 4 to, five, uh, to 6, it speaks about God laying the iniquity of the house of Israel and the house of Judah over Ezekiel. He told him to lie on one side and pray. For, for how many days he said i will lay their iniquity on, on you 
390 days for the house of Israel. He said, lie on the other side and pray. And I will lay on you the iniquity of the house of Judah. 40 days. Mathematics, 390 plus 40 is what? Is what? 430. How many years did they spend in captivity? 430. Why? Iniquity is there. Sin. Psalm, Isaiah 59. He said, the hand of the Lord is not, is not too short that he will deliver thee neither is his ears deaf that he hear you he said but your iniquity your iniquity has separated you sin when you know that god has a glorious destiny for you there are compromises you don't make because the strength of the devil will be based on certain compromises in your life you know that god has called you as a prophetess you know that God has called you as a mighty vessel. There are things you don't do. Other people may do it. It's not sin. But for you it is sin. There are places you don't put your hand into. I hope you know even in ministry now there is a diabolic side of it. There are places in this country you can go and wash your eyes and you'll be seeing visions. No need to fast. Just go there. They wash your eyes. When you come back, you'll be seeing everybody's pants. Forgive me for that, you know. There are places where you go to. I heard one recently that you, you go and sleep with. You sleep in the same room with a python, a snake, a python. For three days and three nights. If you come out from that room alive, the prophetic will open for you. I don't want. I better pray. <laughs> you sleep with death. For real yahoo boys what are they doing they tell you to eat your poo with bread because you need money god forbid ladies as you are saying god forbid better scan every guy that is coming you know because these days now they don't enter church flashy people one of my senior minister friends told me after one of his services one young man came to see him. He brought a big sack, baco sack, full of money, 200 naira notes, minted seed for the man of God. As he wanted to pray for him, the Holy Spirit said, don't pray for him. Ask him, what does he do? And the guy began to dance around. He said, please take your money and go. God bless you. You take that money, your eyes in the spirit will be shut you take that money and they exchange your destiny. Sin. Do you know why people fall into wrong hands? Sometimes it's because of sin. Sin, 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 sin. Sin. It has a way of attracting you to people of iniquity. Proverbs 1 verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy presence? He that hath a clean hand and a pure heart. Who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Nor you don't know why the Holy Ghost is preventing you from some things. Because you are the only hope. You are the savior. The only deliverer of that family. The last one was killed in the previous generation. And now God is putting all kinds of consecrations around your life. You don't know why. You want to just live anyhow. Maybe two, three years from now, I will share with some of you. I will share with us. Some temptations have crossed. I can't share it now. You will not pray. You will just go home and be thinking. Two, three years from now. Are you ready to pray? But if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins. And I will heal their land. Oh God, answer us today. Stand on your feet. We are going to pray. But thou, oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and lifter up of my head. But thou, but thou, Lord, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You're my glory. Glory, 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 and the 
We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My head. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. My head. One more time. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. My head. The Bible says in Psalms 102, verse 13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. You put your name there as you pray. For her time of favor, yea, her set time has come. I want you to turn that scripture to prayer. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Jonathan for his time of favor. Yea, his set time has come. Open your mouth and pray. tonight and heaven will respond listen to me everything that God has designed and prepared that belongs to you must come to you after today the Bible says listen to me the Bible says in 2nd Peter chapter 1 verse 3 according as his divine power had given us all things that pertain to life and godliness to life and godliness life here on earth all things prosperity health every good thing and godliness your work with god first corinthians 3 21 he say all things are yours luke chapter 14 verse 17 the man prepared a banquet and he sent his servants to those he invited he said come for all things are ready how many of you are ready to take all things that belongs to you 
Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. As I pray. Everything good. Everything good. That belongs to me. That belongs to me. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. I take it by force. I take it by force. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. I take it by force. And I take it by force. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. And I take it by force. And I take it by force. Open your mouth and roar. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and some forces we are going into warfare now say after me every force every force that has tied down my life that has tied down my life and destiny and destiny i break loose i break loose and i break free and i break free from it from it in the name of jesus in the name of jesus did you hear, did you hear what i told you to break every force listen for some of you tie down your finances for some of you tie down your destiny you know what god has said about you but it seems like anytime you want to step out to fulfill it all hell breaks loose every force that has tied down your life and destiny break loose and break free from it now in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I break free. I break your hands where you are just lift your hands briefly 
just listen and lift your hands before we continue praying briefly i just see chains falling apart chains 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 i destroy those chains by fire i break those chains by fire every chain of darkness every fetters of iron that has tied down your destiny your finance tied down your ministry anyone that wants to step out to do something successful in your family they are met with resistance i break those chains now Amen. i break those chains now Amen. i break them now Amen. i break them now Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. can we pray some more the fire of god is burning in this place there will be deliver deliverance is happening now there are deliverances happening now. Every satanic spell, every satanic enchantment that was spoken from the coven of darkness, I don't care how long it has existed. I annul it now. I annul it now. I command the chains of darkness. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are deliverances happening already. Every chain of darkness that has tied down the finances of your family, I crush that chain now. I crush that chain now. I crush it now. We thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. We thank you for lifting. Hallelujah. Listen, the power of God is everywhere. I'm telling you, God is touching people now. Repeat after me. Say powers of violation. Powers of violation. Now calm down. Let me explain something to you. Calm down. These prayers, I didn't read it in the book. It was in long seasons of prayer and travail that the Spirit of God will show me a mystery. And then what I saw is what I coined into a prayer and prayed it. That's why I'm leading you to pray it now. Do you know that there are powers from hell that violate the destinies and the lives of people? For instance, when a spirit is molesting an individual in the dream, that's, that spirit is working under what I call powers of violation. Then there are powers of robbery. The thief cometh not, but to what? Steal. Robbery. You know, stealing is they take it, they take what is yours without your knowing. Robbery is they take it by force. Many people's jobs have been collected. Many people's life partners have been taken but today those powers are going down yeah. do you know what i'm seeing now i'm seeing documents in the spirit realm i don't see these visions often i'm seeing documents being retrieved i see i see in fact i see a particular document listen i see a document inside a brown envelope that is very old and it was kept in a very dark place father whoever is connected to that envelope by the fire of the holy ghost i command divine escape i command divine recovery in the name of jesus christ just help them anyone that goes under the anointing just help them say after me powers of violation powers of violation and robbery and robbery using my seed using my seed hey one more thing listen <laughs> listen forgive me for sounding very vivid but let me just tell you this is the truth especially for men if a man goes to sleep this is a spiritual reality believe it because the seed of a man that is your sperm eh? it represents all that concerns you It's an embodiment of your destiny. Are you hearing me? 
the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the, of the what? The head. So listen, there are spirits that come in the dream of a man. And then they come in form of women. However they come, you just wake up or the individual just wake up and discover that he has released. You understand what I mean? You know what has happened? Robbery. Robbery. They just stole something from you. They just stole a breakthrough. Because they can use your seed to manipulate. Are you hearing me? In the realm of... Listen to me. Listen. Listen everywhere. Listen. The realm of the spirit is a real world though, like this world. You know in this world they have laboratory. If a couple cannot get pregnant, there is a way they can do it. What do they call that thing? The IVF. They take the sperm of a man. They take the egg of the woman. And go to a lab and mix it. And put it there. There are laboratories like that in the spirit realm. Just don't wait for scripture. I'm telling you reality. There are laboratories like that. There are people seed. Some, the, the semen that belongs to some men. That has been stolen and kept there. That's the reason why when you try to go forward. You keep coming back. Every time you try to go forward. Anytime you wake up to begin to pray. You go to sleep and they, here they come again. That's the power of violation and robbery. It must fall down flat tonight. Now do you understand before we pray? Say after me, powers of violation. Powers of violation. Listen, the power of God will come on some people now as we pray. Alright? That I fire, deliverance is going to happen. And they'll be released. They'll be retrieving. Say after me, powers of violation. Powers of violation. And robbery. And robbery. Using my seed. Using my seed. To manipulate my destiny. To manipulate my destiny. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn it to After me, powers of household, powers of household, and territorial wickedness, and territorial wickedness. There are some people here. Yeah, you listen. Not every prayer may be meant for you. You understand? But there is at least a prayer for somebody. There are some people here that there are powers from your foundation, your father's house, your mother's house. You know, you know them. Some of you, you are even afraid to go to your village because you know them. A clan of wizards and sorcerers. Malanga rasko pandre ki palalo kasia empere kete kapoto komas kapa ifa balo kaila pusabra kada. In the name of Jesus, listen. Before we pray this prayer, I saw a very tall tree. Listen, I saw a tall tree that looked like a palm tree. That looked like a palm tree, very tall. I saw it falling down. Every strong man from your father's house, from your mother's house, this night they will fall down. Amen. Amen. By the judgment of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say after me, powers of household. Powers of household. And territorial wickedness. And territorial wickedness. Attacking my life. Attacking my life. Be rooted. 
be rooted and destroyed and destroyed by fire by fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus be rooted and destroyed be rooted and destroyed be uprooted and destroyed be uprooted and destroyed by fire 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 in the name of Jesus destiny to be fulfilled god must connect you with help us this last prayer and our minister and then we are done tonight say after me oh lord my father oh lord my father shout it again oh lord my father shout it again oh lord my father connect me to my helpers connect me to my helpers in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now listen as you are praying that prayer you too you are a helper you too will be somebody's helper are you hearing me? Shout it again, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. As I pray. As I pray. Connect me to my helpers. Connect me to my helpers. Connect me to destiny helpers. Connect me to destiny helpers. Listen. Do you know that there are some destiny helpers that are customized? They are just for you. Are you hearing me? I have met people that God has blessed through me. And they say we want to sow to your ministry. I have met people that have never asked of the ministry. They say it's you, you. Those ones are my personal helpers. God will help you. You, 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 my dear, you. God will help you. God is sending help your way. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Connect me to my destiny helpers. The ones customized for my destiny. Wherever they are, connect me to them. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Ba 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 
In Jesus Mighty name We pray Please lift your hands Let me pray for you Just be quiet if you can everywhere Before I pray I see the Lord touching seven people I see a visitation of fire 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 Seven of them There are seven of them Wherever they are that fire is released into your life and your destiny now. Just help me with them. Help me with them, ushers. If you get them, bring them out. Seven of them. That fire enters your life now. A divine visitation by fire. Seven of them. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Touch, 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 touch. Touch, seven of them. Touch, man or woman, boy or girl. A visitation by fire. By fire, by fire, by fire. Let the God that answers by fire arise for you. Now lift your hands, everybody. Isaiah 44 verse 25 I want to pray, lift your hands, just be still everywhere The Bible says Who frustrates the talking of liars And driveth diviners mad In the name of Jesus Christ I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic office I stand as a representative of heaven over this territory And I declare Every witch Every wizard Every sorcerer, every necromancer, every enchanter, every enchantress, every human satanic agent that has risen to manipulate your destiny, I set them on fire now. I set them on fire now. I set them on fire for now. In the name of Jesus. As a fleeting sparrow and a flying swallow, so a costless cause will not rest. Every cause over your family, whether by night or by day, generational curses, every yoke that has been placed on any family here, by, by, by powers of darkness, I command that cause be broken by the blood of Jesus. Be broken by the blood of Jesus. Be broken by the blood of Jesus. Everyone whose destiny has been tied. Everyone whose calling and ministry has been tied. Everyone whose finances have been tied. You are hardworking. You have done everything that you should do naturally. But something just not just does not just work. In the name of Ah Barakata Pakeskopa. I see fire, 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 fire. Any force that has tied what belongs to you. I set them on fire now. I set them on fire now. And I release what is yours to you in the name of Jesus. I release what is yours to you in the name of Jesus. I release it now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, the forces are breaking. They are breaking. Those forces are breaking. Ancestral forces, witchcraft forces, territorial forces, powers of the deep. I break them now. I break them now. I break them. I break. I break them. 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 And I set them on fire. Fire. Now. Like fire. Like rain, let your glory come. Like fire, like rain, let it come. I see the hand of God coming on two, at least two young men. Yeah, and God says, "Is the grace 
both for wealth and for speed is the grace both for wealth and for speed i see the hand of god coming on two men two two young men two young men but right now i prophesy to everyone here let that grace of a double portion rest upon your life today rest upon your life today the grace for kingdom wealth and kingdom speed kingdom wealth and kingdom speed receive it now in the name of jesus right there where you are standing the power of god is hitting you and your family every faulty foundation is being exhumed is being exhumed is being uprooted is being uprooted is being uprooted the lord is just showing me a serpent i'm seeing a serpent right now i set you on fire i set you on fire i set that serpent on fire now fire now fire now the bible says there is no wisdom understanding or counsel against the lord anything that has been spoken against you for evil right there where you stand i reverse it now i reverse it now and i pray for you as you stand there with your hands lifted let the favor of god like a mantle like a mantle like a mantle like a mantle god is saying in my right ear now that there are 14 people that the mantle of favor is resting upon god is saying to me now on my right ear there are 14 people that the mantle of favor where are they holy ghost where are they where are they the mantle of favor the mantle of favor the mantle of favor receive it now receive that mantle now receive it now in the name of jesus The favor of God mantle your life from today. The favor of God that sets you up for greatness. The favor of God that causes men to come to you to help you. Receive it right now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Touch that lady for me. The one wearing time black scarf. Black scarf. Look at me my dear. The power of God is about to come on you. And God is saying to me. That he's sending you divine help this season. Receive that grace. Divine help. Divine help. Touch now in the name of Jesus. Let help us come for you. Arise on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight. Let your name be glorified forever. And I call for your destiny. Help us. Wherever they are man or woman boy or girl old or young wherever they are as long as they are on the surface of the earth i connect them to you now help us that will give you that job you are waiting for help us in form of life partners help us that to take your destiny your ministry to another level i connect you to them in the name of jesus In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now wave your hands and give the Lord praise. Now this one's in front. Lord, I pray. And I declare by the fire of your spirit a divine visitation over their families, over their lives, every one of them in front right now. Let your fire penetrate their lives, destroy the works of evil, 
and bring about an upliftment of grace an upliftment of grace an upliftment of grace an upliftment of grace who is grace not you not you grace 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 and i'm hearing another name matthew 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 wave your hands and give the lord praise lord we thank you tonight all the glory must be to the lord for he is worthy of our praise Matthew, Matthew, lift your hands there. I see the angel of the Lord standing by you and I see the Lord placing a garment on you, a white garment. In the name of Jesus, let a fresh grace come upon your life now, now, now. Step into a new season and another level for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. And that prophetic unction that is inside of your spirit, I stare it to manifest now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes? Grace. All of you are grace. I pray for all of you. Let me know who I'm looking for. Thank you, Father. For he is worthy of Oh, thank you for your presence. No man should give glory to himself. God is saying, release a season of visitation finally with the name Ishaya. That's just what I heard. There may be one or two or more of such here. But God says he's visiting the family of Ishaya. Ishaya. My, my mom's brother. Your mom's brother is Ishaya. Yes, sir. Step forward. Father, we call for this, this divine visitation now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let every evil that was buried be uprooted and destroyed. Amen. Let the wrongs be corrected. Let the patterns be deleted. Amen. And I declare grace be released. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. As well as God is healing people in your family. I'm seeing. I see the Lord taking away affliction. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All of you, let me just pray. Yes? Ishaya, Ishaya, Ishaya. it's your son name. Okay, all the Shia's son name, wherever you are, God is visiting you now. Amen. And for one of you, I'm seeing massive deliverance. Because I see, I see chains being loosed. I'm seeing four, five to six people. Maybe these are like the number of children in that family or so. But I see chains breaking off the feet of four, five to six people. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for all of these graces here in the name of Jesus. I declare a blessing upon them. Let a new door open for them in the spirit. Do to them as you have determined. Do to them as you have promised. In the name of Jesus. You come. You are a student, right? Come. There's a grace for academic excellence that God wants to put on your life. I don't know the state of your academics now but i see you having grades of a's and b's Amen. and i release that grace night right now supernaturally Amen. supernaturally Amen. in the name of jesus christ father we give you praise finally while we are all standing if you are here and you are not born again this is your opportunity before we go if you are here you need to make jesus your lord and savior 
Or you want to rededicate your life. You were born again before, but many things have happened and you probably have backslidden. You can feel it. You know that your ways are not right with God. You can feel that dryness around your life. And you want to return to the Lord today, wherever you are. Can you step forward quickly? And as they come, I want you to clap for them because of time. You want to say yes to Jesus. You want to surrender your life to Jesus afresh. Or you want to rededicate your life afresh. You have prayed, but it's time for the greatest miracle to happen for you. Wherever you are, please come. God is calling you. Keep clapping. Jesus is calling you. Keep clapping. They are coming. Jesus is calling you. He's calling. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Stretch your hands towards them. And if God is still talking to you right now, please join them quickly before we finish the prayer. If the Spirit of God is speaking your conscience now, please join them quickly before we finish the prayer. Salvation is the greatest miracle. It is the only thing that qualifies you to be a partaker of all the prayers you have made. It is what qualifies that your prayer will be answered. And if you are online and you are making this decision with us, please repeat the prayers after me. Those of you in front, put your right hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I repent of my sin. Thank you for saving me. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I am yours, both now and forever. In Jesus' name. Keep your right hand on your chest. Father, they have made the decision and by the confession of their mouth, they are brought into salvation. We declare them born again and we declare their sins forgiven by the authority of your word. They receive that brand new eternal life in their spirit. And I ask that you seal them by your Holy Spirit of promise.